<laughs> what up, y'all? <clears throat> uh, Pope Cerebus here. Uh, this is the weekly uh, comic haul. <clears throat> uh, let me run through this real quick, and then hopefully I won't forget uh, shout-outs along the way. Ah, oh, man, I hate this side. Oh, I should have planned better. Hang on, guys. Uh, <clears throat> One of the tips I can make for eBay is, uh, man, plan where you're going to do your hauls in advance. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is cool. Actually, I found out uh, after the fact that this is actually uh, Doctor Strange Damnation number one, uh, Young Guns, the uh, Javier Garon cover. Man, what a great cover. Uh, I was not going to be into these whole Young Guns covers, uh, and then I saw them, and I had to get... Well, I think I have three of the four right now, and I'm certainly interested in getting the next couple that come out. Uh, moving on here, Defenders 10, uh, to the end indeed. I'm going to stick with Defenders uh, until the end, whenever Marvel pulls the plug on that great book. And I understand, that was Bendis, so no worries. Uh, it's been a great one. Uh, speaking of, always cool to see Ennis uh, rocking some Punisher stories, so... Yay. Uh, Thor, uh, the 704. Uh, I'm actually cool with that regular cover right there, but uh, I was actually kind of surprised that uh, they didn't put out much of a uh, fantastic uh, cover like they've been lately. Maybe I'll see one in the future. Uh, speaking of fantastic covers, uh, I only opted for the uh, Albuquerque uh, Hit Girl uh, the coolest cover, I'm pretty sure, of that whole bunch. Um, also, I'm just biased because <laughs> I finally was able to go out and get a copy of this. Uh, this uh, detective book was very hard to find in my area, which is odd because usually these big profile books aren't too difficult to find. But this one flew off the shelf. Finally went back and got it. Uh, this one, I'm not sure how this is going to fare, but you gotta, you can't fault a guy for, uh, for going long on this book. That cover is amazing. Um, I was actually going to get both covers originally, uh, and then up close on the A cover Aquaman, I, I kind of passed. Um, I could have easily gone both covers on Batman, but, uh, I did some other stuff this week, and, uh, I didn't really want to stretch Strangely, I say that, but yet I stretched back and I picked up the uh, Flash Annual. Uh, great cover, and uh, man, I always get the great recommendations from like Bad Avenger and that kind of thing. And so I, I got to really respect that opinion and uh, keep up with the Flash because it's it's cool. I read it and I'm I'm amazed. Uh, this one I've been picking up lately. I think the uh, covers that have been coming down particularly these white uh, B variants. Are they B? Of course they are. Uh, but the last one was pretty cool, and uh, I like that one. Speaking of cool covers, circled back. Uh, can't exactly remember who uh, I first saw this from. And I knew about Promethea. In fact, I have a, a full run of her original ABC series, Promethea. But it looked cool enough. I went back and got it. Oi, speaking of cool covers, man, Super Sons. What a great title. Everyone recommends it, uh, and of course, they're going to cancel it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Deathbed. Uh, there was a really cool uh, comic book villain post that he had put about Deathbed on, uh, on a comment for another uh, video. And uh, all I got to say is uh, twig and berries. <laughs> so, big ups to villain for that, man. Killing it. <laughs> uh, I went back on this one, um, Call of the Suicide Forest. I, I saw another copy and I picked it up because I, I read it and I thought it was really cool. Um, I'm not sure if anyone is interested or if, if anyone's really hard up for a copy of this. Uh, maybe... Uh, drop a comment. I know maybe Chinist maybe was looking for one of these, but uh, if so, man, yeah, let me know. I got two of them now. Uh, I opted for the Bill Sienkiewicz uh, Black Ground, 
Black Crown of Publishing, Punk's Not Dead, about a Sid Vicious uh, haunting uh, modern-day punk. This cover was the same as the regular, which I believe had pink or pink checkerboard or something like that. Uh, but this was the one in ten, maybe. So, I don't know. I went that route. Because <clears throat> Sid Vicious might. Uh, depth. <laughs> depth. <laughs> Department H. That always makes me laugh. This is issue 23. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they said that this uh, was coming to an end. I believe it is. I'm not sure how many people caught this book. Um, I caught it at the very end. Uh, Mata Hari. Whoa. Um, this is a, a limited five-issue series, but I leafed through it, and uh, it was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, speaking of, I'm circling back around, and I, I totally forgot that I've spaced on this. Uh, Sherlock Frankenstein and the Legion of Evil is a supplemental book to... Black Hammer. So all of those that are down with the Black Hammer, uh, this was actually really good. Um, I managed to grab, uh, managed to grab uh, issues three and now four. I still got to go back and find. There's some really cool covers on the the first couple issues too. Speaking of another one, um, this book has had amazing covers for the first four issues, but this was actually the best cover I could find of issue five, Lark's Killer, uh, Bill Willingham. Uh, not many people have shown that book either, so I don't know. Uh, Descender, another book that's going to be wrapping up. Uh, Dustin Wynn on the artwork. Uh, same cat who's been working on Super Sons. So uh, Dustin Wynn, uh, dust off your resume. You're going to be out, out of a job? No, he's... <laughs> I'm just funning. Speaking of fun... Ice Cream Man, number two. Um, I skipped out on that, uh, the other more realistic uh, cover, and I opted for this because, damn, that's cool. Um, speaking of, uh, this is a back issue grab, but to be honest, that is the coolest cover in the Moonshine Run, better than any of them Frank Millers or whatever. Um, I don't know, Lieber Mayho on this amazing variant to Moonshine 4. And it kind of came out of nowhere, but uh, I finally went back and found one. I've been looking for that for a little bit. Uh, speaking of, uh, walking right into the image, there's Moonshine, back again with issue number 7. Um, Nick Wilson. Uh, this is kind of a weird, uh, down-on-his-luck, uh, has-been, super, uh, super-powered individual. Uh, it's kind of interesting along the lines of maybe like Airboy or or uh, some of the other further adventures. Uh, but it was it was not bad. It was I, I'm I'm cool with it. I'm gonna keep picking it up. Uh, this series has been great for uh, horror fans. Red Lens number six. Uh, that's a pretty cool series. Happy to have been keeping up on that. Here we go with your sex criminals, Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Are you gonna argue with them? I don't think so. <clears throat> Funny thing about uh, wrapped books. Um, you never look inside of them. So this is a conundrum for me. Because uh, I don't know how really crazy these covers are. But I keep buying them and never opening them. So what does that say? Twisted Romance. I see this book uh, dwindling in print run every time. Uh, it is a black and white. I think the first two, I, I don't think they were black and white. So this might be this might be uh, a departure from them. Carla Speed McNeil, also the artist, or I don't know. That that could be a, a whole fill-in thing. But there's one more issue to go, and uh, it's been pretty interesting. This this book, though I haven't read, looks like it's uh, it's gone around the corner. Woo! Twisted. Uh, I did manage to grab my second copy of uh, Ghost Money 
from Lions Forge. Um, I mean, I, I can't even begin to say how ridiculously cinematic this whole book is. And in addition, just, uh, you know, topical and, uh, you know, it, it reads like a, a really good movie, you know. Oh, man, would they make a movie out of Quantum and Woody. <laughs> I think they should get Brad Pitt to play the goat. Um, I, I heard someone talk, I can't remember, gosh, who was it? Uh, it was the person who had mentioned that that this foil was probably foil from the Secret Defenders or something like that. But uh, but that is a really cool cover. Um, the goats that stare at men. <laughs> okay, uh, this book is back as well. I don't know how many people uh, glossed on this book. But Heathen number 6. Uh, I just read it and uh, it's pretty cool. Further Adventures of Adis and her... Uh, and her pals, um, God, what's her name? Brunhilde and uh, Odin and all those kinds of characters. So I love that stuff, so it's really up my alley. Uh, speaking of uh, really up my alley, I was real happy to do uh, some back issue uh, searching recently. And I came upon this book. This uh, fills in another hole. I am now only four issues away from a complete Tomb of Dracula run. Uh, this book here, I will not have to tell you, is flawlessly near mint. Beautiful. And uh, it was cheap. It was like, I think it was three bucks. Uh, so I bought two of them because they were two identical, beautiful conditions. Love Thor. And I also managed to find the missing issue 25 that I did not have for the Nova run. That's the last issue, uh, final battle. So kind of happy about that. Uh, also, this book right here, um, I can't even begin to tell you how stupidly, flawlessly mint this is. This was just amazing. This was on the rack, touted as a 9.6, and uh, I recently uh, sold my Iron Fist run, the only run I've ever sold, and uh, immediately when I sold it, the first thing I wanted to do was buy it back again. <laughs> so if you saw some recent haul or videos of mine, you'd see that I uh, just picked up uh, two copies of Iron Fist 14, and uh, this issue 12 now, and I'm also eyeballing uh, a 1 and 2. Um, I figure issue 15, and I'll be satisfied for quite a while. Oh, and issue 8 of Iron Fist. I'll be satisfied for a while with those numbers right there, and uh, I'll fill the rest in when I can. Uh, but I really wanted to get a, a stellar near mint replacement set for the set that I had, so well on the way to that all right anyway y'all this is just a, a midweek haul uh i didn't do any shout outs did i uh silver dave of course uh exile state jls that podcast is cool uh 9.8 posse that was so cool i'm glad i could stop in for a little while the other day uh all the other things that are coming up jls podcasts and things like that uh on top of all the other people that I've always shouted out in the past, Mercenaut, and uh, all the people I haven't heard from in a while. Uh, still think about you guys right on. Keep collecting, and I am out.